Hi, and welcome to Cheng Concrete's Tips and Techniques. Today we're going to walk you through sealing your concrete project with Cheng Sealer. Life's daily demands can be hard on any surface. To keep your project looking great for years to come, you'll want to make sure it's protected from wear and tear by sealing it with Cheng Concrete Sealer. Cheng Sealer is a hybrid, so it both penetrates and protects without changing the look of your concrete, making it perfect for any type of project. Countertops, sinks, fireplaces, even furniture. Cheng Concrete Sealer is also ideal for use in your home because it's 100% food safe. It can be used on your kitchen countertops or anywhere else you might eat or prepare food. It's water-based, meaning it doesn't contain harsh or harmful solvents known as VOCs, which can leave a chemical smell in your home. It's quick and easy to use, allowing you to seal an average size kitchen in two to four hours in only a few steps. So how does it work? Imagine your concrete project is one big sponge. Cheng Concrete Sealer is designed to fill that sponge, sinking deep into the concrete to protect it from within, while also creating a very thin, hard shell that acts as a barrier against chipping and etching uh, by things like harsh acids like citrus, mustard, and ketchup. A couple of things before you get started. The perfect spot for sealing your project is indoors, away from moving air like in a cool basement, a garage, or in a dust-free area of your studio or workshop. Sealing in this type of area will ensure that your project will have a better looking finish and more prone to be free of visible streaks. You'll need the following items. Two one-gallon buckets, one filled with cold, clean water, and one empty to use when mixing your sealer solution. A clean terry towel, chain concrete sealer, this is available in 500 milliliters and one gallon sizes. Every project is different, so the amount of sealer you will need will vary, but a good rule of thumb is 500 milliliters for every 30 square feet of surface you need to seal. It's about the size of the typical kitchen. Step one, mix your sealer dilution. Take your empty one gallon bucket and pour one part sealer into three parts water. Step two, saturate the entire surface of your project with water for approximately five minutes. Keep the water moving around so that it saturates your project evenly. Be sure to leave a layer of water on your project to keep the sealer from penetrating too quickly. That slow penetration is what will give your concrete project the best finish. Step three, grab your sealer dilution and saturate your project again for another five minutes or so. Just as you did with the water, you want to keep the sealer moving so you cover every part of your project. Step four, dunk your terry towel in the water, tightly wring it out, and then carefully wipe up the excess sealer. As you do, keep in mind that you're not wiping the sealer off the concrete. You're just wiping up the excess that is sitting on top. You want to leave a thin layer that will slowly sink in after the wipe down. Allow your project to dry for about 20 minutes. If you take a break, make sure you're back within the hour to continue the sealing process because too much time between sealer applications will affect the quality and strength of your seal. You'll know your project's dry when the entire surface is one even light tone, like you see here. Repeat steps three to four, paying close attention to the color of your project surface. When you saturate the concrete with water, you'll notice right away that some of the surface doesn't darken like it did before. That's how you know that area of the project has been sealed. Again, every project is different, so the number of times you'll have to repeat these steps will vary. Remember that your concrete project is like a sponge. That means that if it is absorbing water, it can absorb more sealer. So repeat the sealing process until no part of your project absorbs water. Now step five, let your project carefully dry overnight. Place a few drops of water on a small area of your project and let them sit for about five minutes. If you notice any areas of the project still darkening, you know you need to apply the additional sealer washes. That's it. Congratulations on giving your concrete project the perfect seal. Now it's ready for you to install and enjoy. 